Just, um, well, good morning or good evening or good wherever it is in your part of the world. Um, it's good afternoon here in Australia. I'm going to pour on this um, recycled card. Get them off eBay. They're a heavy card, really good for test pours. Um, so that's what I'm doing test pours and also if you want to let your work dry and then put it into a um, frame so that that's what this heavy duty card is really good for so that's good I have some milk paint left over from previous experimenting so I'm going to use this milk paint as my base for this uh, particular pour I'm going to spread it all over this. This is uh, all over this A3 size card just before I start. So, and today I intend doing a ribbon pour. So to see what we get out of these leftover colours that I've got. Always got leftover colours, I've not because I just make up a big um, load of colours and for the week basically fill all my cups up and just keep painting um i mean i might do three or four or four or five videos or paintings in a day well i used to do just the paintings and never used to video each one but i am now so it's, i mean i enjoyed doing the um, paintings immensely anyway so I and I've kept getting asked to view video, I hope you videoed that one. So now I am videoing them. So you see my disasters along with my um, successes. So I've covered the whole bottom of that. What I'm going to do is I will use the same jug that has that little bit left in it. And I'm going to, um, pour my colours down the into the jug so I have that delicious purple these are all um, Montmartre colours they do sell them in the US they sell them in you can get them in the UK and certainly can get them in Australia and they're uh, Montmartre studio acrylics which are great so that was the magenta I'm now putting some white which probably will go very pink and now to throw a yucky colour into the mix, it's like this bottle green. But I'm hoping it will bring something up luscious in this particular work. And now I'm putting in some navy. So what is this woman doing with her colours? Putting in some more magenta. Now I'm going to really throw the spanner in the work and put in my banana yellow or it's a nice really bright yellow we'll go back again and put my last bit of magenta in probably is all I need for this particular size work which okay I'll leave that so they were all uh, Montmartre colors they I have my pouring medium. I do get lots of people keep asking me, even though I tell you that the pouring medium recipe is underneath. I think it's just laziness that somebody just doesn't bother to look and they want me to write it all out again. But please just take a look on the drop down box. I've got my pouring medium and what I use under there. So this is a ribbon pour. So I've loaded it all up and I'm basically going to pour it in lines like this and like this and like this oh, 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 oh look at these colors super duper super duper oh my god so cool 
So this is ribbon pour. This is really easy one because you're just pouring basically in ribbons up and down your canvas. So I think I have more than enough. Take it off. And like the little experiment was, pouring it over that milk paint. I've still been experimenting with milk paint and seeing what I can bring up in it. Um, so this is a ribbon pour with milk paint. Uh, oh, it's got some cool effects in there and I've still got a fair bit left, but I'm going to leave that's got more than enough on it. Uh, just oh, my board is stuck to the bottom of my ah, trying to make sure I reuse the paper underneath the piddle pads so I do want to keep the linear look so I do want to just go straight up and down okay look at that kind of looks really, um, I don't know, it looks different than any other ones I've done. When I've done a um, ribbon pour, so obviously that's purely and simply because we're on the uh, doing it on a bed of milk paint. So I just want to see if the milk paint added or took away anything from the actual effect. So my mixture that I mix the paints up in is my Alma's glue all and water. Just said is in the recipe underneath. So that is kind of weird looking, weird. Okay, I'm just gonna do the um, butane torch on it. Just gonna sort of wave it over and see what we can. I mean, I kind of like it without any cells, but I just wanna see what the milk paint allows to happen underneath that. Wow, look at that. That's really nice effect actually. yellow line cool 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 take my gloves off a second so I can give you a close-up of that it's a quick one sorry about that sorry about that went AWOL I'm just taking my camera down to bring it over the top, over the top. Wowee, look at that. That's over the bed of the milk paint. So that has given a whole different effect, doesn't it? Complete different looking cells. And that is a ribbon pour over a bed of milk paint. So that's interesting, very interesting. Oh, would you give that a go? I will leave it and see how it develops and see what we come up with. But that's a very cool look, very cool. Okay, thanks for joining me again in my crazy experimenting processes that I keep uh, loving getting into. Look at those, wow. Yeah, so that's a nice easy pour, isn't it? To, to pour just gently down the lip of your um, jug and then pour it out in l lines like ribbons. That's your ribbon pour. Okay, thanks so much for joining me. Please subscribe to my channel. Please um, click the little notification bell so you'll know when another exciting episode of my crazy adventures in my art room. 
um, come on this art journey with me. Thanks so much. Until next time. Bye.